Father, thank you, Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? You may be seated. Let's go to the book of Mark 11. The message I shared with you on Sunday. Let me see if we'll continue with the same message. This coming Sunday or um, end with you today. The book of Mark 11, verse 12. I was talking about the purpose of God in your life. God had a purpose before. That's why he created you, to fulfill his own what? Purpose. You have your own because you are a human being. You want to achieve one or two things. But don't forget that the one who created you had a purpose. And that purpose should not be defeated because of your purpose. Your purpose is secondary. His purpose is supreme over your life. And what is the purpose? Each and every nature that God created represents his own what? Purpose. We see water, we see air. Here, all of us, we are breathing in and out. Oxygen in and out in our lungs to sustain your organs. That was the purpose he created, you know, or formed that air. What about you? Are you telling me that God created you to be a manager, a lawyer, a teacher, or to get married? Then from there, you know, you continue living according to what you want to see. He is always, always interested in his own purpose. You have your own or your own agenda. I quoted, you know, the book of, uh, you know, Luke 13. You remember the scripture? Hmm? You remember the scripture? Huh? Eh? Tamulei Bukisha. Eh, Verse what? Six. What was there? That one was not a parable. But this one, now listen to verse 12 in Mark 11. The next day, as they were leaving Bethel, Jesus was hungry. 13. Seeing the, 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 sing in the distance a thick tree in leaf. He went to find out if it had any fruit. When he reached it, he found nothing but leaves because it was not the season for figs. 14. Then he said to the tree, may no one ever eat from you again. And his disciples heard him say it. Praise the Lord. This is 15. Before we go to 15, take note of the word. He said to the tree, may no one ever eat from you again. When Jesus said yes, no one can say no. He was angry and he saw the tree, you know, was shining, expecting some fruits. When reaching there, he discovered that only leaves. Then he cursed the tree because he realized that this tree does not save 
my purpose. Who is the owner of the season? It's God Almighty. Jesus sees that this tree does not serve my purpose. It looks nice, like, you know, there are fruits all over the tree. But when reaching there, he discovered that only leaves that are there. To you, see the way, you know, you appeared here on earth. Everyone knows you as a Christian on the outside. What about the inside? Are you bearing fruits? Kwali baba ntu wakati nga mwaba mwona na language baku wata ya kuchechi. Bata baku wata puwechi sabo cha kuchechi. Tion sefyo balanda, nefyo wachita. No, no kufuwa lafe kutumwa mwona tia baba na bakuwa nani. Bata baku wata puwechi sabo cha kuchechi. Nangula iti sabo cha kumupashi. Umuntu onzo le sapanga. There is a purpose. If you are a man, he had the purpose for you. If you are a woman, he had the purpose for you. Are you fulfilling that purpose? Or are you satisfied just because you are a nurse, you are a teacher, or you are married and you are bearing what? Children. As long as you cannot praise him, then be worried. Because bearing children is one of the blessings which God gave to you and me. What about his purpose in your life? He wants to benefit out of the life he planted here on earth. But when reaching you, he discovered that you are carrying something else. You are no longer calling his purpose apart from your own agenda. No one applied to be born here on earth. It was him who created all of us and he brought us to this life. See our behavior. We abandon his own purpose and we are now pursuing our own purpose because we want to make a name. Sometimes you, you know when you are alone, sit down and think about life. What are you doing? And after this life, where are you going to be? Where did you come from? Who brought you to this life? There is no way you can just buy a vehicle and you just give it, you know, or you pack it somewhere to say, whoever wants the vehicle can take it. No. There was a purpose. Oh, I want to buy this car. For what? For farming? Or maybe I will use it for transport. God had the purpose. He created animals. He created so many things. But as for you, he said, let us make man in our own image according to our likeness. To bear fruits on his behalf. Le sangalanda timule pola nangvalanda ti kansa ile paya. Kansa ila nakila nani? Nanguli kuali tawalu ala po uruwele le sangaku fuma pofie. Uruwele buwa laisa po. This is why you see we are facing a lot of problems because we are abandoned is what is on purpose. We want to live according to the knowledge you know you have acquired from whatever uh, school where you went and you think because of that knowledge then uh, you make it. No, 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 no. Make no mistake. Make no mistake. He prepared you for his own purpose. Even when you become a teacher or you, you know you are married, think about the purpose of God in your life. Yes, you become successful in marriage or career-wise. What about his purpose? You ask yourself, what was the purpose? Can you marry a woman and say, uh, I, you are my wife, but... Uh, let me go and uh, stay with uh, uh, another woman here. Ah, ah. Even the, the woman you brought inside the house will start thinking, you know, to say, is this man normal? Am I not your wife? At yes, but uh, uh, let me uh, stay some, somewhere. 
Anything that you have in life, you had a purpose before, you have that thing. Even God himself had the purpose of you, know, created you as human beings. He did not create you to come and enjoy, you know, the fleshly things here on earth. No. Yes, you can enjoy whatever you want, but don't forget about his own purpose in your life. Each and every time Jesus, I mean, will come to you to see if there is anything, you will discover that you are carrying chibuk. You are carrying hatred. You are carrying unforgiveness. You are carrying bitterness. All kinds of problems inside you. He will look and say, ah, he uh, will. Remember the word that he spoke. And if you read, it's just that I'm looking at, if you read the, the whole passage, you discover that when coming back, the disciples discover that the fig tree was what? Withered. He is the life. There is no life without Jesus in you. Jesus is what? The life. If you want to make it because you are educated or maybe you are coming from the rich family, what about a good health? Are you going to use money to sustain you? The answer is no. Whether rich or poor, God had the purpose. Remember Lazarus. God had what? A purpose in your life. If I may ask you a question, who can answer me if you know, you know the purpose of God in your life? Is there anyone who can answer me for this one? And you tell us what you have done for you to fulfill God's purpose in your life. Is there anyone who can answer that one? We don't know. We just find yourself here on earth walking as a man or a woman. Hmm? You better know his purpose in your life. He never created you to be a, a politician alone. Becoming a politician is one of your blessings. But what about his purpose in your life? Becoming a police officer, that is, you know, your career breakthrough. What about his own purpose in your life? Are you really fulfilling his purpose? There's no way you can spend, you know, time for something which is, you know, you, you don't like. Ngamulekula na nguinga anda ni shina mkwata e plan ya kuya ikalamuisa mulia munga anda tefi. Mm-hmm. Ngamuashite njinga. Bale mchange shi njinga mule ishita nishitafie. Mm-hmm. Shansha tine nishitafie. No. Na mkwata poe fini tufumo vyo mule fuoku wa mshari ya majinga tefi. Nga le seri ya le tupanga. Tupangi leba tifo tuise mkuu mfuwa buino. Eno kwa bloku mfuwa mbo buino mufi ya panga. Awe, fia kana. Nga chakwa tifo kutitua mfuwa buino le safuri ya mfuwa buino kuchila because emu ine. Afuri ya shitashani. A mfuwa buino kuchila ifwe. But to the contrary, ifo tifo kuchita enjoy life. Tatifo anoku mwana puwe chibi. And yet, the one who brought you to this life is always, always looking for his own purpose in your life. For you to become successful here on earth. It doesn't mean that if you know you become rich or maybe you are educated, then you are successful. No. Not until you fulfill the purpose of God in your life. Because after this life, there is another life where God is going to ask you. And what have you done for him at this age where you are now. Lesa tula mulumbula rionze nga fia lubana mwele sawandi. Nga nafi wama inena alikosa. Fuetu la luisha. Fuetu li nshimbi. Inena alisambirila. Elo tesha kachule. Aba sambirila taba chula. Ala chula. Kanu aba fikilisha. Icho lesa chitashani. Aba pangila. 
Benana muri peni bala sangenshi insansa. So you better know the purpose of God in your life. So that ichi richonse echo mulechita. Mwaishi bati lesana kwata mo ulubali. Lesana kwata mwenshi. This is why you see abantu pali lelo na nkuya ku church. Bakaka ku church maybe nga pali pwecha wa shupa. Nga tapali chile shupa taba station. Taba ku church. Tefo fina yu. Fishinga. Fishinga. Oh ali shiba purpose ya kwa lesa mla. Shira chita discount. Taula chita discount. Unnemi akaina. Unende kwa maisha 30. 30. Taula chita discover. Pari seti So ok, sa chita discover nga wakwate miya kayo Pantini mkula wakwate So tawake shibeki Wakula hii kala fefi Tifile na hii shiba Namboli ule kwa nisha seti tawai shiba Peposi ya kwa lesa You say our brother Na wambi kuti wasuka hivine vya asuka brother Bambi nga mwabisha mwala mfati wa paste fini tafia wapo wino ine mulaifi mebe ya bufuwa wa kwa leso wawu na tifi wapo wino mulaifi no nga mwaishiba icho lesa amile tele pachalo nga mwaishiba nchi icho lesa amile tele pachalo muka chita understand ifyo mfili okuikala ifyo mfili okuchita shani Ukuikala. Nga mula bomba, mailo muka chita ritaya. Finch simbi muka mbo kuchita. Ala lesali tekanya, lesali chita shani. Ala tulole la kuti akulole la fena kubu kote. Taichilepeo kwa hati nga mua kota, ni shilepeo kwa hati muliba lungami. Aa, aa. Limoni seko kumipela chansi ya kuwati Muchite discover peposi ya kwe mula So that muika ya kuheo Sometimes kuti mwamona no mulunga miafu wafe ne miyake inono Panticho titina sana pachalo kufwa Paribo ushitino kufwa munu Eh? So, ishiweni, ichole sa mire tela pisa, pachalo. Nangutule lombo kupola, because pasta taposho muntu. Uposho muntu ni nani? Elole sa tatuposhe shokwe vati, tuambi oku sansa muka mumubiri. Aa, atuposhe shokwe vati, ubusu mabuwa kwe busokolo kemuliba ifwe. Nga napola, nangu napalu, sometimes nangu ninda la male sa kupela. Ba minda la male sa ngaba pela, nishiba sa unka fimbi. Nya mano ni shiba kwa tila pona ambi five ya ba ten Tapari no obe ngonfu wako So Icho lesa tupangila chari bapo More important than if you tule pepeka Than if you tule chitashani Icho lesa mipangile Chika nka logu chile fyo mufuwai mumwebene Nga mwachi shiba no kula chichita If you mufuwai ya lesa rifipeka ni shari mokale Thank you.